In this video we're going to talk about rusting the Matilda's exhaust. Hello again everybody, welcome back to Fugit Splits and we're going to continue with our Matilda. In this video we're just going to be looking at rusting the exhaust, but before we do we've got a bit of cosmetics to do on the turret because the stowage broke off. It's a pretty easy fix, just a bit of super glue, bang, there you go. So, how do we do rust? So, basically what I do, it's been primed, it had the brackets already, and I'm going to take black. Now, British exhausts on the Matilda were actually like a black colour, and they didn't overly rust. Now, you see some models, and some modellers, they really go to town on the rust on the Matildas, but they actually didn't rust that much, even in the desert. There was only certain parts, and this is the effect that we're going to be aiming for. So once it's been painted in black, straightforward, just stick Vallejo black in. I then used Luftwaffe Uniform, a very light blue, heavily watered to give like a mottled effect. I then grab the Dust in Rust set, which is by far the best rust set you can get. And then I just start mottling the, the, the rust down, starting with the shadow rust and then working our way up all the way to the light rust. And I'm only concentrating on those places where it's going to be rusty. Now, this isn't a rust color. This is actually, I, I haven't got, um, there's a thing called incinerated white. I don't have that. So this is like a dusty color. But this is the color that I use as like the base for the rust. And I just, as you can see there, just dump it on. Then I take the dark shadow and go over the top. That's all I'm doing, just going over the top of that. It's not white. It's like a, it's, it's like a, um, it's, it's more like a warm white. So it's, it's not just standard white. You can do it with white, but you know, because you're going to cover most of it up anyway. The idea is to get the, the real incinerated rust effect. And you can see the effect is slowly being built up. And we're going to do this over all the white. We're not going to do it over the entire exhaust because it would look unrealistic. Now, I've looked at many, many photos of Matildas, both in the war and in real life. And a lot of it doesn't get overly rusty on the exhaust, as I said. So resist the temptation to overly do it. As you can see, we're building up the effect. Now we're gonna take the light rust. So, so far we've done the shadow and we've done the base. Now we're just gonna go over with the light rust. Now the light rust, you need to concentrate on the areas that are gonna to be totally rusted out. So you've got the incinerated white, which is the base, then you've got the dark rust which goes over that all the way along, then you're going to put on the base over the top of that, and then we're going to concentrate the first light rust on those everly rusted areas. And then, once we've got this effect, as you can see here, we will then take the incredibly light rust, that's this one, light rust number two, and we are going to go over the top again, only concentrating on those areas that would be incredibly rusty. Now, it, it's it, as you can see, it doesn't look great, but it's all going to change later. So we're building up the effect. We're trying to get the effect so it, it's it's got the rust where it needs to be rusty, and the rest is black. Now we're going to take the streaking rust effect and the light rust wash. And we're going to do what's called a wet application. So I'm just plastering on the rust effect here. That's all I'm doing. It's not thinned. It's just straight from the bottle. Plaster it on. Get into all the nooks and crannies. Doesn't matter because you're going to get rid of most of it anyway. Then you stick the light rust over the top. And then with a little bit of over the less thinners, you're going to remove it. And it's going to leave a residue. And as you can see, once the residue is done, it, it actually looks quite realistic and this is the effect we're looking for whereby it's rusty where it needs to be rusty and it's toned with a hint of rust along the rest of the exhaust so that's how i do exhausts it's only a quick video there's more videos coming out soon on this particular tank we're going to be looking at pin wash followed by chipping that's to come that's not yet anyway i hope that video was useful just a quick one. There's not much on the Matilda that's going to be rusted because it's in the desert environment and you'd think it'd get rusty a lot, but it doesn't. So I just wanted to get that one 
over and done with out of the way so I can get the exhaust on the tank and we can move to the next stages leaving us to the weathering. By all means comment in everything below and until the next time guys happy modeling and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.